Hello, I should be live. I'm going to check my phone. It's not showing me live there yet, but maybe I am. <laughs> All right, no one's showing me live yet. Oh, I saw a number come up. Hello, there are three people who are here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah, it's not showing up on my phone at all. That I'm live. <laughs> there we go. I don't know why. I guess it all has to play in with the lag that goes on. <clears throat> Hi, Stephanie. Good to see you. Thank you for coming. I have um, three trips uh, to the bins. Uh, like in three different bags <laughs> sitting next to me and I'm going to go in the order of least recent to most recent. Um, so in other words, the oldest one will be the one I look at first. Hi, Carrie Ann. Hi, Claudia. Thank you for coming. Hi, Lena. Good to see you. Well, that was backwards on my stream yard than it was on my phone. That's strange. I have a hair. Hold on one second. <laughs> ah. So I pick at it in front of the camera. I think I got it. <laughs> that feeling. <ugh. laughs> yep. So I'm doing a um <clears throat> wait, Lena. I see you. <laughs> I just realized I see you. <laughs> I was like, something was going on in the back of my head, like something's different, Kathy. <laughs> something's different. <laughs> Yay. And um, Lena, um, I went to the post office. And I got your a gift. Thank you so much. Or gifts, I should say. Um, Lisa, uh, Lisa, Lena sent me some happy mail. It was a these great, I should, needed to bring them in here. I wish I had. Um, big lobster, uh, like metallic earrings. Really, really cool looking. Um, and I like a drinking cup. It kind of looks, kind of looks like red lobster as a drinking glass. Um, has that kind of cool restaurant style. And then it was like a tin shaped like a lobster with peppermints in it. And even had like the little bands around the, around the claws. <laughs> so cute. Thank you so much, Lena. And I'm sorry it took me forever to get over there. Like I said, it's, it's such a weird, hard to get to stressful <laughs> place that it, I just, it, it had to be in the right place at the right, right time to get over there. Basically <laughs> it was red lobster. Okay. I was wondering. Yep. Cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, let me see. I don't see if I missed anything, anyone here. Um, Jane. Hi, Jane. I don't think I saw you. Hello. I think I said hi to Carrie Ann. Kathy. Hello, Kathy. Good to see you. <laughs> it's like a look on my phone, a look on my stream yard back and forth. So <clears throat> uh, as I was saying at the beginning of this Oh, oh, no, it's okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll shoot you an, oh, no, is the email working? Because you weren't able to email me either, right? That happened with you and Marianne. I'll, I'll send, I'll try to get a message out to you. Thank you so much, though. Let me take a sip of water. I feel a cough coming on. So, um, <clears throat> nope, still want to cough. <laughs> so this is going to be a haul from the bins. I'm going from, uh, the least recent to the most recent in that order. Um, and I kind of can't remember what's in here. And I purposely did that to just uh, bring back the element of surprise when I did the haul. So I definitely need to kind of get all these things together and make a sale out of it because I don't, I don't need extra inventory, but I just had a little bit of a bins kick. I just couldn't, I, I don't know. There were just a few days of some really good things like finding Edward Mobley and things like that, that I was like, I have to keep going back. <laughs> Hello, Colleen. Thank, thanks for coming. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to get started. I'm going to go for the first bag. I'm going to be a little careful. I have not cleaned these yet, and I am allergic to dust, but they're these vintage uh, children's toys. And so I found, I'm taking it right out of a beach bag that I got there too. It is a, it's a play school uh, plastic bell, which I'm going to take um, a magic eraser to this and clean it up better, but I hadn't seen this one. I thought it was going to be Fisher Price. Um, I don't know if it says the year. Um, no, it doesn't. But I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess 70s. It has a nice little sound. Jen, hi Jen. Good to see you. Good my bell. <laughs> so I am going to add this to the children's sale that I've been talking about over and over again. Which I'm sure it's going to be a two-parter. I keep doing this to myself, but you source and you find these fun things and. 
I just thought this was really sweet. And it wasn't too obnoxious of a of a sound. So <laughs> there's that. Oh, how am I going to do this? I guess I'm going to put those back in the bag. And I found three squeaker toys. So I found, I mean, these need cleaning. So I'm just being really careful. Um, this little baby girl, <laughs> this little baby girl and her little pink onesie there. And she does squeak. But again, she really needs to be cleaned up. I'm not going to um, hold her for long because, <clears throat> again, I have dust allergies and it needs to be de-dusted. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. I, yeah, I don't remember it either. It's strange to see that one. Um, this awesome, awesome, awesome stitched pink rocking horse. Um, this is made in Taiwan, but <laughs> it's just so good. I think he's really adorable. Um, I really want to do like a super kitsch sale. I haven't done something like that yet. It's just super, super kitsch sale. And I just think this would go great. Tempted to put with a toy sale, but really this would really go good in a, that kind of a themed sale. And then this one might be my favorite, actually. <laughs> it's this little boxer. <laughs> my goodness. He's so funny. Hold on a second. There we go. Again, like I said, I haven't cleaned these guys up yet because I just set them aside. But he's a little tuft of hair. He's almost like a cupie. Um, what oh, that says it might just be a number because I don't want to handle them too long. But <laughs> he does make a sound. Wait a minute. <laughs> you imagine having doing these beep beep beep. <laughs> oh my goodness. He is hilarious. I love him. <laughs> Oh, someday I am going to have just this wall of shelves with all my little weird collections. <laughs> I, I almost want to keep him. I have no use for him, but he's so funny. <clears throat> so that was it for the toys when I need to drink water again. <clears throat> and also I just snagged the, this uh, sort of uh, burlap. I think it's supposed to be a, a beach bag type of thing. Um, but I like to put recyclables in these, uh, clean recyclables, obviously, and uh, carry them in these. I don't know why, but something about the burlap. So I just got the bag too, and it's a pretty nice bag. I don't know if it's by anybody or not, but <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't see a name. But, so there's that, move that out of the way. Okay, let's sip my water. <laughs> Um, so, and the reason I'm doing a haul today is because I will be part of the follow that cat raid train starting tomorrow. Uh, my time slot is at, um, 530 and it actually goes to Saturday as well with a whole huge list of other sellers that will be selling on Saturday. Um, and so I, we'd be glad to have you there. You, you know, I know some people do not like whatnot and I understand that completely. Um, but don't have, it's just like a, a live sale you don't have to bid but if you would just want to come and cheer people on or just see what they have to sell just anyway um we'd love to have you so i'm looking forward to that tomorrow um uh it's no it's not a live sale today it's just it's just a um it's just a haul <laughs> uh, these are going to different sales and things like that yeah <laughs> i'm sorry um okay so coming up next i found just it was some wrapping paper that i thought was really pretty so this is just for myself i might I'll, I'll probably use it this year but i just thought it was really pretty wrapping paper so i grabbed it <laughs> that was a little bit it's a little wrinkled because that's the outside of the sheet but i thought it was really um kind of kind of classy looking pretty so snag that oh <laughs> okay <laughs> uh, okay so i feel like i missed something no, I guess not. Okay. So, and then I found these and I'm going to try to wear, a, I'm not going to have a camera on me because I don't have the setup for it. I actually might be able to figure out the, figure out the setup for it where the camera is on me as opposed to the, the light box. I'm not sure, but if I do have the camera on me, this is going to ruin my hair. I want to be wearing these <clears throat> and they're crooked right now, but yeah, I'll wear these, um, during the cat sale. I thought they were pretty cool because they were so sparkly. <laughs> so.
So let's see if I can get this off. Oh, this might have been a mistake. <laughs> it takes a lot for this just like not go just everywhere. <laughs> so anyway, they were fun. Thank you. I know. I was like, oh my gosh. They're like, you know, you find Mickey ears and things like that are fabulous like this, but not cat ears. Or at least I don't. <laughs> oh, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Good to see you. Oh, are you? Oh, good. Oh, good. I want to keep you company. That's awesome. <laughs> Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> no worries. Um, and then I, I've been picking up here and there. I've been picking up these children's clothes. I'm sorry. I just can't. I'm not what kind of sale I'm going to sell these in. <clears throat> One second. That cough wants to come back. Hmm. But I keep finding such sweet children's clothing. And it's kind of like a, got a, like a Lilo and Stitch vibe. I'm trying to find the front. That's the front. It's size four. But it's this tropical little hula girl hawaiian print that's you know it's got a vintage vibe but it's modern oh my gosh it's just so darling and it comes with a headband it's like still, it's new with tags and it's naturally maine <clears throat> molten street portland maine <clears throat> sun sundress with headband and it was originally 36 dollars so and it's just precious so if anybody's got a 4t <laughs> Ah, okay, awesome. Good to see you, Catherine. Thank you for lurking. <laughs> I think there's a couple of things in here that you might be like, oh, that's super cool. <laughs> I think. Maybe not. I can't remember. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, um, really love that. Look at the little boy. They're dancing. It's so cute. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. What's making the camera go crazy? I don't know what it is, but picking up children's clothing for some reason. <laughs> <clears throat> and then I think I need to bring this closer. Oh, well, this one, I don't know how she survived all the glassware, but I allow, <clears throat> love to pick these up. Excuse me. A baby. Oh, yes. Oh, that would be fun. Yes. I like that. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. I like that idea. Yes. Um, I have sold, I believe it was January and now I'm, now I wish I'd kept her. <laughs> because I found July, <clears throat> but I do not need all the, of the angels, uh, the birthday angels. I really should stick to my, the white haired ones. This tickle in my throat is something else. I might have to get a different, like a thicker drink. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> not a, not a, <laughs> not a drink drink, just a regular drink. I don't know who these are by. Oh, wait, let made handmade in Korea. So they're Korean. <clears throat> my it looks like so anyway do i have another one over there no i don't but she'll probably go on a sale even though i have a really strong instinct to keep these usually <laughs> <clears throat> oh my gosh the more i talk the more it's like scratching <clears throat> okay <laughs> this was also it, it is damaged <clears throat> sorry and it's on the ear. It's always on the ear, but it's like, it seems like, yeah, it is Wade, Wade England. So it's from the, I'm guessing nursery night, getting thrown now, <laughs> nursery rhyme, <clears throat> like series. I've done a live sale through hiccups so I can get through this. <laughs> hey, hey, Dolores, good to see you. Oh my gosh. feel like it feel, feels like it's been forever. <laughs> you have to excuse me. <clears throat> I have a tickle in my throat that is just completely throwing me. I've done a show with an eye patch. I can get past this tickle in my throat. <laughs> oh, it just makes you not able to talk. So it's the cat and the fiddle. He does have the chip, but <clears throat> I call him trap neuter release. And uh, that's, I like to get those. Oh, yes, yes, exactly. And he's bigger. Like, he's bigger than the other Wade Whimsies. And I, I do not mind the, 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 I don't mind the chips on cats. And so I get them. <clears throat> I miss you too. Oh my gosh. Apologies. <laughs> the Play School Bell was from 1974. Most, oh, for $15. Oh, okay, cool. I, I had a feeling. Yeah, I was born in 75. I had a feeling it might have been around there. I'm going to get need to get a refill. Holy moly. Cough drop. <clears throat> I don't have any cough drops. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> <clears throat> uh, 
stop tickling. I feel like if I cough, it's going to make it worse. Okay, so moving on. <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh, I have to bring the bag closer to me actually because I'm having trouble reaching in there. One second. Yes, I agree. I absolutely agree. <clears throat> so I found a lot of boxes. Um, get these out. These are some religious. I, I'm not sure what they're from. I have not looked them up yet, <clears throat> but I just know it's good to pick these up. Um, we have Mary. It's just some kind of plastic. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know if it's from a craft kit that, because I have some other ones that are painted here, but they look like they're sort of airbrushed. Nothing on the back there. Oh, you did, Colleen? Oh, that's awesome. I'm the youngest of three. <laughs> so I was the last one born. <clears throat> and then we have this one that is painted bags pushing me <laughs> let's see yeah I don't see a make her mark on this one either um so another Mary and I just think it's beautifully done it's just this plastic it's not celluloid it's harder than that um this needs to be clean like I said again so just kind of really beautiful I can see this on a gallery wall <laughs> Yeah. yeah yeah that's true <laughs> they do <clears throat> and then there's one with jesus um, in the sacred heart so i think these are really lovely and i definitely didn't want them staying in the bins <laughs> or at least i think this is jesus right <laughs> i should know i think he's the only one with, the, with this going on <laughs> um so there's that <clears throat> oh and then this I don't, I'm, I don't want to say cake topper because if that's not what it is, it sounds really sacrilegious. But anyway, it's it has the saints inside it. It's this plastic thing of some sort. And it spins. Wait a minute. How did I get it to spin? Okay. So <clears throat> here we go. Spins three different ones, I think it is. So that's interesting never seen anything like that before like in person so that was fun to find along i found it alongside those other ones hello karen good to see you that's right <laughs> i agree <laughs> yes yes here too, uh, yeah i think they do here too <clears throat> now i <sighs> okay sneeze cough <laughs> what's it gonna be <laughs> Um, and then I found this guy, and I do find that these these types of things do sell. It's kind of like that brutalist. I have no name on this, but like that brutalist statue type of dealy, kind of rough metal. Um, this wasn't made. I don't think with real nails I you know this is meant to replicate like that type of art but still it's really neat um hi hi grandma mary's at it good to see you <laughs> oh and kim hello good to see you how are you i'm okay how are you <laughs> and uh there's the bottom and he does kind of twist around so however like direction you want him to be but anyway really cool kind of drummer guy cool guy gift Oh, yes. Oh, that makes sense. Yep. Um, did I miss something? Oh, oh, <laughs> I didn't realize he said Wednesday. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so then I, like I said, I grabbed, I grabbed jewelry boxes and things like this a lot for fragile things to ship. It just protects them so well <clears throat> and you can secure them. And uh, this box in particular is actually really pretty very sparkly <laughs> and uh yeah so i like the box anyway in and of itself very nice presentation i don't know if there's anything in this one yes there is <clears throat> i couldn't help it i had to rescue it this is how sentimental i am this is some somebody's dried corsage <laughs> i don't know i just i have my mom's corsage from her prom and it's displayed and it looks really cool with like some victorian things not exactly sure how I would do it with this one, but 
I may, I may send it to a crafting sale. Um, but I just, I don't know how old it is. I just think it's neat. So not quite steampunk. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> so that was kind of a neat little, I don't know. I just, it seems like it's old to me. So I snagged it. <clears throat> I have been wanting, this makes me think of Helen. <laughs> I've been wanting some measuring, like vintage measuring tape. And so I found a, 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 a strand, <laughs> a strand of it. Is that what you call it? A length of it. It was tied here, so I guess I need to fix that. But I don't know if it's by anybody. I don't see any um, branding on it. But, um, yeah, I just wanted one of these. just wanted to have one of these. <laughs> I don't, for oddly, I didn't have one like this. Um, thank you. Yeah, I just, it's, there's some sentimentality to it. I, I don't know. I, I just had to. <laughs> So there's that. I'll be keeping that for a while, I think, anyway. Um, here's another sentimentality thing. I'll, I'll probably just, like, throw it into somebody's, like, box or something at Christmas. I just found two uh, pictures from probably, let's see. Uh, do, do, do. Looks like 84, 1984. This is, I, I don't know. <laughs> Here we go. I'll probably just throw it in somebody's... Um, <clears throat> box during a sale if they want to look but you can see all the vintage like the popcorn santa and snowman and all like the the nativity and the display and it's in like a trailer park and it was so cute it is so cute i had to, i had to save it <laughs> a great hair tie yes that's true too <laughs> and then um i don't know <laughs> i'm very nostalgic about this stuff um you know, that's how they used to do it. I, I feel like this belongs in a... a, a oh, that would be fun. I just had an idea. What if I start a scrapbook? Just, and I any vintage Christmas photos I come along, along the way. And I'm sure, I'm sure I will again. I could just, just put them... Oh, I want to do that. That doesn't take much. Just I can glue them in. <laughs> That would be kind of fun just to get a nostalgic like Christmas car pictures book from all over. Does that sound weird? I don't know. I just, I, so that's why I saved those. I feel like, figured somebody could do something like that with those. Maybe I'm strange. <laughs> um, I snagged this another, this is a vintage box actually. Meet you at Miller's, Nashua, Nashua New Hampshire. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Christmas through the years. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. If I could organize it by years, even before I even started putting them in there, that would be cool. Yes, yes. I like that idea. And then you're preserving those Christmas pictures that are at the bins or whatever. Oh, yes. I'm going to do that. I just sold a big scrapbook, <laughs> but that's okay. I'll come across another one of those, too. <laughs> I think I'm going to do that. I like that idea a lot. And maybe... Uh, yeah, you never know. I could be showing it on YouTube somebody day and somebody might be like, hey, that's my family <laughs> or whatever. So anyway, love these vintage boxes. <clears throat> um, oh, okay. So I snagged. I like to wear big. Your four men's get busy. <laughs> exactly. Get looking for those pictures. <clears throat> and you know, those might be ephemera that people want down 20 years from now as those types of pictures you know what I mean like I wonder what the future ephemera lovers are going to be looking for I bet it's stuff like this too so I anyway I like to wear big kind of you know gaudy earrings for holidays and I found these easter egg ones I will sanitize them I always do but uh, they're kind of an 80s look but they're easter egg uh, pierced earrings hold on focus or not. Okay, well, <laughs> they don't want to focus. <laughs> there we go. So I got those just to be festive because I like to be festive. <laughs> I got, and I, I 99.999% sure these are not from the 80s because these came out again and again and again, and the colors don't seem quite right for 80s to me, but I didn't keep mine from the 80s. I kept a lot of things, and I did not keep my jelly bracelets, because I thought, oh, I'll never wear these again. They're tacky. Like jelly, because once, you know, like jelly shoes, jelly bracelets, I was like, to me then, like once I grew out of it, 
in the 90s when everything was grunge. I was like, I'm not wearing this. I'm getting rid of it. So I'm just happy to have some jelly bracelets. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I loved them when I was a kid. So jelly bracelets. <laughs> um, I found two. <clears throat> Here we go with my throat again. <clears throat> Hold on. <laughs> quick sip. I found two. Um, I think they're wine glass markers. <clears throat> but they are glass. And I thought I, I'm already, believe it or not, compiling crafting lots again already. So I was thinking throwing this into a crafting lot. Just because um, you know, I, I couldn't I don't want to sell this for any anything more than free. So I'd like to add it to something like that. Um and then whoops, did I miss did I lose something? Was that everything? Okay, so that was everything in that little box. I like to use those at the bins, these to, to tuck these things in and keep them safe. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, me too. And the, um, I, that's the other thing I didn't keep is the um, the big plastic charm bracelets I, or necklaces. I didn't keep that. Or my mom got rid of it. But I think I I think I got rid of it because I was like, oh, I'm too grown up for this now. But yet I kept a ton of other jewelry from the 80s. I don't, I don't know. Me and my logic. Maybe it's tucked away in a box somewhere. I'm not sure. <laughs> yes, the charm necklaces. Oh, oh, I loved finding charms for those. So I'm going to be doing a giveaway eventually that I'm, cre I'm slowly, slowly creating. <clears throat> it's kind of like a self-care um, giveaway type of deal and I, I'm adding little trinkets like this here and there in it and it's a dove it's uh the dove is the symbol for peace hope and promise um anyway it's from fine gray granite in Sunapee New Hampshire which is from where uh, Steven Tyler is from <laughs> from Aerosmith uh or at least yeah I think they grew up around Lake Sunapee Catherine if if she's available I'm sure can confirm or deny that one <laughs> um <clears throat> So it is a carved granite dove, and I just think it's really pretty. Um, I love granite. Anyway, there we go. That would be my counter to counter top twice if I had one. <laughs> so I'm including that amongst several other things in there. I just thought it was really sweet. If I can get the darn thing closed again. <laughs> Plastic. Okay. <clears throat> oh yes me too i think it's really nice i just keep my, keep keeping my eye out for things like that um i'm not knowing what's going to be in every box i'm opening here by the way <laughs> i've already forgotten this may be empty yep it's empty but this was cool and i thought maybe i could use this at live sale so i open it i opened this box and i was like whoa <laughs> it's like one of those presentation boxes there's a light in there so I don't know if, if I'm like trying to sell something, I'd stick a piece of jewelry in there if that would help. Kind of looks like no. But anyway, never seen that before. That's like an engagement ring box, I think. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's all that was in that one. And then I, I'm actually going to keep this box for myself. It's very vintage and I'm in love with it and the colors. And it's just me. It's just me. <laughs> Well, it's not just me, but <laughs> there we go. There's just something about it. And, and it's not, you know, we're not perfect, but um, uh, it's a keeper. <laughs> I shouldn't keep everything. And inside it, I had a necklace or found a necklace there. They had the jewelry table open one of those days. <clears throat> and... Uh, <laughs> and um i don't know who this is by and this is for me as well for me as well i love bees i want people to not kill them when they see them <laughs> ah trying to get it to flip around it doesn't want to and it's like the, a hive with a little bee on it i don't know if it's focus or not there we go so i will keep that for me because i've been looking for a piece of bee jewelry for a while that wasn't just kind of generic or like a big yellow and black thing, you know, <laughs> although that's cute too. Uh, but I was looking for something like that. And the bee actually is kind of acts as a charm. So it's, it has some motion to it. So really love that. Oh, and there's the inside of that box. 
super vintage. I really should be, I should, I should part with things like this. <laughs> Keep what you love. Yeah. It's, it's like <laughs> hard to balance. <clears throat> oh yeah. It does go with my nails. That's true. <laughs> That's so true. I love it. So um, next, okay, this box, I actually got to put, picked it up because I liked it because it looked like a bee thing. Again, I was going to put the necklace in there. Uh, but the tag was making it so that it wouldn't fit. But it's, uh, it looks like a little hive. It's just this tiny little box. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just, it, it, I found, it was actually on the jewelry table. I found one end of it at one end of the table and the other end, at, the other at the other end. <laughs> I have a thing for putting things back together. So I'm probably going to keep that necklace in this box. <laughs> And this was for crafting, potentially. I found a horseshoe by Diamond. Or maybe it's a... Well, it's small, so maybe it's not a horse for a horse. It seems like it's kind of small. Pony shoe? I'm not sure. Actually, I should be... Isn't it? This is the good luck, right? Which way is good luck? I can't remember. I think it's this way. <laughs> Me too. <clears throat> Again, um, pony. There we go. It even says pony. <laughs> oh gosh what does it say looks like it says one pony well of course anyway neat find donkey shoe <laughs> actually and i'm big into like uh good luck symbols i always sort of like that sort of thing and i'm mostly irish so this like you know i really like it it's not a horseshoe it's obviously a pony shoe but uh they say you hang them over your door like this will be good luck so that was fun. Another little box I'm keeping for myself. <laughs> I I really sh really shouldn't. Yeah, I need to give things up. It has the starburst on it. I don't know what in the world I'm going to put in there, but I will figure it out. It, it's not that in, in that great a shape anyway, but it's enough for me to be like, I'll find something to put in there, <laughs> and I will too. <laughs> Maybe like lost earrings, backings, or something like that, <laughs> or backup earrings backings yeah and and goes up yes okay you had tiny ponies oh sweet oh <laughs> so make a cute riser for a vintage little figurine yes that too yep yep that too absolutely and then i picked up some bouncy balls for the the guy stuff sale i really need no more items for that sale <laughs> watch maybe yep that too um Hair pins. Yeah, that's a good idea, too. Oh, my gosh. I wonder if it's because I touched the uh, <clears throat> the squeaker toys. Because I didn't have tickle. That's probably what it was. <clears throat> um, so I found this box that was in the bin just to keep these under our control. So I vintage bouncy balls. I think probably from the probably 80s, 70s, 80s, 90s, somewhere in there. Um, but they're the ones kind of I remember. I, I do feel like they're vintage just from the... I don't know. <laughs> they just look, they I don't think they quite look like this anymore. The, the colors and things. <clears throat> and I think there probably is a market for collectors of these. Cause I briefly, briefly as a teenager started collecting these. And then I was like, I don't need this. <laughs> um, so here's another one. I really like this one. It's red, white, and blue. That's fun. <clears throat> I realize they the you know they sell these things in vending machines now, but there's just I'm getting I'm getting vintage vibes out of these ones. And when they started doing like the clear, I remember that actually looks like a marble. Honestly, they're really cool to look at if you're not thinking of them as bouncy balls, you know. <laughs> yeah, the quarter machines. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I remember growing up wanting them every single time. <laughs> I just don't know if they're modern quarter machines or not, but I still liked them anyway. And they, again, they give off the look of the, I don't know. I don't think I remember seeing them looking like this now. I could be completely wrong. I haven't looked <laughs> to get a bouncy ball in a while, but there we go. And some of them are kind of on the stiff side, like this one. You don't even know they have some age when they're stiffer. <laughs> And a couple more, um, just another another similar kind of color, marbling. 
yeah, definitely feel. Hold on. From that petal game too. Oh yes. And then these were the kind that I liked. I had the glitter in them, and this one has yellowed over time. But there's some red glitter in that one. I remember these. Oh my gosh. It was like glitter stickers. Anything with glitter, you wanted it. <laughs> and finally, this one is has some clear clearness going on too. Just a fun little lot of uh, bouncy balls. <laughs> All right, so that's the end of those. This is still one trip, <laughs> the first trip. Um, down to a couple more things. Um, snagged a couple of earrings, uh, jack-o'-lantern earrings. If I don't have any like this already, I'll keep them. But if I do, I'll, I'll just sell them or do a giveaway with them or something. But there's a pair. I have the other one in my hand there. Just cute. Can't resist Halloween regardless. Just can't resist it. <laughs> they need to go in a box. I'll lose those. Okay. Um, and then what is this? What is this? Oh, um, what's going on with this? <laughs> I just realized this appears broken. Maybe I grabbed it for crafting potentially. I think I grabbed it for crafting because it seems to be something going on with it, but it was just a really pretty stone. And I probably just figured I'd throw it in with a bunch of other things and maybe somebody could do something with it. But up here, it seems to have some stuff some issues going on crafting lots still still having them on my mind <laughs> uh, let's see finally finally from that trip <laughs> how long have I been going here oh, 37 minutes okay I found let's see what year 1980 or it might be copyrighted from strawberry shortcake but anyway it is a cloth strawberry shortcake and her friend, uh, Meet Strawberry Shortcake and her friend's book. And it's gonna, <laughs> I am such a Strawberry Shortcake fan. Eventually I'm gonna do like a, you know, Kathy's Collections types of videos and just, if I do them live or not, or if I would just do like a static video, but um, yeah, I have Strawberry Shortcake stuff still. Um, that one I didn't get. So this had to be, this was a little, little bit after I stopped playing with them but still the 80s that was still the 80s so i saw a strawberry shortcake and i was like oh my god <laughs> same reaction i always have when i see her not the modern iterations of her it has to be the 80s one <laughs> so there's that <clears throat> so that's that trip throw everything back in as fast as i can oops i need to actually throw it <laughs> Uh, okay, thank you, Kathy. Um, all right. Just getting it all back in there. All right, last couple of things. Let's move this along. Okay. Okay. We don't need to be on there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Whew. Whew. Okay. Next. Uh, so the next visit, I've been looking for stuff for the cat sale. I don't know if this one will make it to the cat, skip, set, huh. cat sale or not, but <laughs> it was just, <laughs> couldn't, couldn't leave it there. Um, yeah, it's these big ears. It was, you know, a pattern cut out of a cloth and they just showed you how to stuff it with batting or whatever. Um, but it's just kind of like this life-size cat stuff, stuffy that somebody made from a pattern. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Kathy. I'm, I'm still going to try to kind of get through it. <laughs> it still gives you time to chit chat at the beginning too. Right. Um, oh, no, Colleen, that's so nice. Oh, I like, I love that. And I hear you on that. I hear you. So his tail's a little bit on the floppy side, but I just thought he was really funny and cute. So, <laughs> so oh, this is like a mixed bag. Okay, so 
I found Holt Howard. <laughs> oh, so it's cracked. I don't care because I'm keeping it for me. Excuse me while I make things worse with my shirt here. Uh, <laughs> um, it's cracked. So and I, it, I just don't mind. I just don't mind because it's Holt Howard. And you can see, already see where the crack is. Um, but I'm just so happy to have in my collection. I am such a Holt Howard fan. Like I know it from a mile away when I see it. It's one of my very first uh, Christmas fixations. I guess you could call it the first one being left in and the holly leaves. But, and then, um, yeah. And then when I heard of um, Holt Howard, I was like, I love this stuff. He's really whimsical. So it even has the tag still. 1953 on that. It was mine. <laughs> yes. Oh, he's got cracks everywhere. I mean, couldn't even sell him if I wanted to, I don't think, because he's just, he's ready to <laughs> fall apart. Squeeze him, he seems okay. But, oh, hello, Mary. <laughs> he is so cute. I agree. And then, um, so then we have a Mrs. Claus, and I think she, what is she? She's an Arco, an Arco Japan. I am willing to part with her. <laughs> I hate to say it. Uh, it's, it's, I try not to keep everything. Um, obviously, the cold paint has an issue. Um, but again, I think these are worth saving out of the bins. Uh, they've already been cleaned as much as they can be. Um, does she have any cracking going on? <clears throat> I don't think so. Just the cold paint on her glasses and her shirt. Bottle brush trees. Yes, absolutely. Gives it character. I agree. <laughs> so that's that one. And then just just a box, a shipping box. I, I, this is my go-to, again, for really fragile things because this is rock solid. So if you bought something tiny and fragile from me or jewelry, um, more, more, more than likely it's going to go in one of these <laughs> dealies. So this was exciting for me. There was a grab bag of Christmas stuff, but the thing I bought it for is these um, Viking... Oh gosh, they're made in Denmark. These little Viking guys, they go for good money actually sometimes on eBay. Have you seen these before? It's I think it's it's real animal fur for their beards, but I don't think it's even this guy has any eyes. I don't think he does. But these are vintage. I actually really love these and I've found them a few times over the years and not kept them and gosh, I want I kind of want a one shelf that has a represent, re representation of everything that I that I love, you know, like one of these and like, you know, a blendo picture over here and just all the things that I love that I've wanted to have one of my own, you know. <laughs> so there's this guy. <clears throat> and then and then there's this one. And they don't usually have their um horns. They're usually broken or fallen out. Um I, at first I thought something was missing here, but it looks like it's at a point, almost like it's a sharp little stick. And that's what he's using as a weapon. I'm not sure. But this one does say made in Denmark on this one. Oh, I love these. <laughs> Honestly, uh, I don't want to part with them, but I probably will take them to eBay most likely. I think they're really adorable. So, <laughs> Love finding those. Love it. Um, I love these. This is going to be for my guy sale, I think possibly a giveaway or something like that. It's just, remember these toys, it's, this isn't vintage, but I just, I love these. <laughs> um, so I put him in there. I mean, he's got the vintage kind of <clears throat> weightlifter outfit on, um, but uh, I don't know, guy toys always crack me up. So <laughs> got him. Um, I got some risque bunnies, so I'm going to see if I can not show you the risque thing and their bunnies uh hold on okay wait okay so i can't move my fingers <laughs> and each one of them is missing an ear <laughs> but <laughs> um it is signed so i wanted to figure out who it was by and i didn't want to really waste the time when i was there so i just tossed it in my cart <laughs> and they do have tails but they do have their little you know there were little parts. So <laughs> anyway, I picked that up. I might be doing a show, a live sale at some point with Margo, Peep Show, a go-go. And I think this would be where I would bring it. <laughs> the sale would bring it too, but I don't know what I would do about the ears. I just think it's funny that each one is missing one. 
Oh, really? Oh, cool. Oh, they're from the 60s, the the um, little Viking guys. Yeah, they're so cool. And then, let's see, where do I go now? Um, again, picking things up for um, crafting. This needs to be wiped down some, but it was just a vintage kind of foiled plastic butterfly dealy that I'm going to put with, again, the vintage crafting lots. Um, let's see. There's a big red box, and it's... Uh, glam and glow let's see if there's yep there's things in here all right so again this i like to pull the anything that out of the jewelry that i feel it can be used um, by someone <clears throat> in some way so i thought this really this heart was really pretty it's a pendant glass pendant purple and white and i like the um i was considered a finding there on the bottom but i thought it was really pretty so this just might be part of like a, a jewelry crafting lot or something like that. <clears throat> um, a little birdhouse, definitely for a crafting lot. A little birdhouse charm. I don't think it's by anybody. Um, I will always pick up a stick pin. That's another thing I collect. <laughs> and this one is just with a piece of wood and it says R. And it literally, it's very kind of crudely done, but I love it. So I will, I'm going to get a collection of these going and I'll probably have a sale of stick pins at some point. Um, I also collect them. The ones I collect are the Christmas ones. <laughs> so, oh gosh, I'm sorry. Go learn. You think I'd learn. So this one, unless I have it already, which I don't think I do, this little, little bell. I just, I, oh, I love this stuff. <laughs> the bell does kind of sort of work. Um, there's also, a, a tack pin, um, that I'm probably going to keep. I have, I'm a, such an addict with these, unless anybody's like desperate to have these, which I don't know. I think I'm more desperate to have these than anybody. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. I can't get it to focus, but there we go. It's just a little stick pin with a bell on it. So I'm just so, it, it makes me happy to look at th that stuff for some reason. This is modern. Um, it's an owl head with like faux turquoise eyes. <clears throat> Again, crafting lot. I just like the look of it anyway. It's trying to, it's trying to look vintage. So I liked it. It'd be really kind of fun. Like if you did like a 3d card or something and you glued, glued things onto it or junk journaling, great for junk journaling, just glue it to a page, draw the body something like that, or cut out a different body from somewhere else. And this also for crafting, just, um, and I don't know if it was supposed to be a pendant or what it was supposed to be. Um, it's really pretty and feminine uh, flower arrangement. <laughs> Again, junk journaling. So. And that was in that box. Okay, so up next, what do we have? Are there more boxes? <laughs> Oh gosh. Yep. There's another box. This uh, actually, this is just coasters though. And I love the box that the coasters came in as well. I thought it was really pretty. There we go. Really lovely box. Cloth body. Yes. And then the coasters were kind of different. Um, they're like vinyl and sort of reflective. Very cool. And yep, they smell, they smell like a, a water bottle from the seventies. <laughs> if anybody grew up in the seventies and you had to use a water bottle, you know what that smells like. Yeah, that's, yeah, <laughs> that's what that smells like. Really cool though. And they're kind of fancy schmancy in my opinion. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think they're neat. What a neat thing to find there. You know what I mean? I love, I love the thrill of the hunt. I lo absolutely love it. I love coming across this stuff. It's honestly a stress reducer for me to go there. <laughs> Memories. Yes, exactly. So if you use these as a coaster, they're wipeable and easily cleaned. And oh my gosh, there's two more still. No, three more. Holy moly. There's a lot in there. You don't usually get that many. I like this one a lot. It's my favorite. Oh, I like that one. 
And <laughs> you remember too, yeah. <laughs> No, I did that from like, you know, really sniffing it, but oh, I think this is right side up. That's the last one. I like these. These are fun. Like who has these, right? <laughs> and it has the box. The box does not smell like that. All right. I I think I snagged this for Easter time and it is, um, I don't know how to pronounce it, but she's one of my favorite pronounce her name but she's one of my favorite artists and she does um did have a line probably still has a line through hallmark um she's french and so i'm going to say her name wrong but it's marjolaine bastine i think something along those lines um you see her once in a while people's thrifting videos will come across her and kind of pick her up she does have a really pretty pretty uh pastel aesthetic and just nature realism and but cuteness at the same time so it's first bouquet and it, the ornament is in there and i don't know i just thought it was really sweet so i think i'll bring it around at easter time bring it back out did i say it right <laughs> oh my nose itches now holy <laughs> you guys i'm such a mess all right <clears throat> oh okay so i am a sucker for melmac or melamine um particularly boonton wear and um mallow wear i love mallow wear and i also found some at, at an actual goodwill but i found a whole stack of this boonton wear and realized that only two of it two of them were really in good enough shape to want to try to sell none of this has been cleaned yet anyway here's the creamer and it's just this lovely yellow i love these love 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 these this is this is the stuff that i start this is actually one of the first brands I ever resold was Boonton. Um, so that's when I got into it. So that would have been around uh, 2002. And I always wanted to call it Boontown, but it's Boonton made in the USA. <clears throat> so there's the creamer and, oh, wait, yeah. And then the sugar bowl, awesome. You can see I haven't cleaned it yet, but awesome <laughs> atomic style. This is what made me fall in love with it. I actually had a divided dish that took me forever to sell. Then I decided I didn't want to sell it because I liked it too much. And I was like, I'm not using this. I'm going to sell it. And then I did. <laughs> then I was like, no, I miss it. <laughs> I would have a whole cupboard of these. I adore this. I adore the shape. So anyway, a little, I'm a little bit weird over Boonton and Mel Mac. Certain stuff just makes me happy. All right. I found another box. Let's see what's in this one. <laughs> This is in a day's jewelry, jewelry box. There's nothing in it. Okay, so it's just a box. That's what some of these are. <clears throat> um, this was meant to go in the, one of the crafting lots, so it will go in another one. Um, it is your yarn. I think it's your yarn sizes or something. I haven't even really fully looked at this. Here we go. Just a fun little measuring tool. Oh, and you guys, I went to an antique mall and from my last sale, I sold some, I think there was Woolco like snaps and things like that. Um, sort of a sewing notions, lots types of things. Anyway, I went to an antique mall and I need to post it on my uh, community tab. Somebody had put in a shadow box, like just rows of those and well, Woolco was in there and it was just sewing notions shadow box and it looked so cool. I'm like, oh my gosh, I just sold those. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I can't remember quite who bought those particular ones, but maybe they can do something like that. So anyway, it's exciting what other people can do. <laughs> um, so then I have some books. Oh, that one's a little bit rough on the back there. But anything that is New England, I'm going to grab. And anything that's on collecting, I'm going to grab. And especially since I live here. Um, so it's just, it's, it's kind of worse for wear on the back. But um it's you know and it's not that exciting to look at or anything like that but i just love the reference books not for prices but just for reference and uh yeah why not <laughs> it's, it's all pretty much the same oh here's some of the uh insulators that we collect too so there's some other information in there as well oh and there's some other things see i haven't looked through it yet so Digging, identification, and pricing. Okay. 
I do do some metal detecting once in a while and come across, I do come across um, broken glass bottles, but full ones sometimes as well. Okay, so moving on. What time is it? Ah, okay. <laughs> um, a collectible tin containers book. Again, they don't sell these at Goodwill anymore. They won't, they, they hoard them away. They don't want you to have them. So if I find them at the bins, yes, me too. Um, I just, uh, I collect or I snag them if I can, because even if I can't use them, someone else can. So kind of the same. I think it's probably from the seventies. I found another thing for crafting, which is embroidery stitches, 100 embroidery stitches. So if you're trying to learn the different types, literally it's just the instructions on how to do it, which at one time I would have been trying to learn this because I was starting to learn cruel, cruel at one time. So moving on, I, I don't, okay. I, again, children's clothing, not even sure who or how I'm going to sell this to. Um, I, I want to say somebody made it. I'm not really sure, but it's just this gorgeous. And this was definitely added on after the fact. Gorgeous little girl's dress. <laughs> like somebody could dress up as a little princess in this for Halloween or something. I mean, I'd hate to even do that. I mean, it's um, really, really pretty. So, um, I, again, I, I think it's called, oh my gosh. Somebody was just telling me the other day what this is called. Organza, maybe? Organza or tool. I get those those terms wrong all the time. I'm guilty and it actually has a sc scooped back to it, but it was probably, I'm guessing like a flower girl dress or something. I just thought it was really, really beautiful. What if you wanted a dress doll in it or something? <laughs> yeah, maybe tool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure. I, I need to learn those terms. What, uh, what, uh, not, not a dressologist. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, so what else do I have in here? I have some more clothing. This is, if it fits, I haven't tried it on yet, but it's for me. Um, if it doesn't fit, it's not for me. It's a silk skirt. And I don't know if you all have a Mexicali blues where you are, um, but this is a Mexicali blues skirt. Whoops, I'll show you. Actually, it's probably two-sided. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's two-sided, but here's one side. It's just really pretty fabric. It's all silk. I can believe it was there. I love Mexicali blues. Very 90s very 90s brand and it's a, a wrap skirt which I always have trouble with and it totally smells like patchouli <laughs> it completely smells like Mexicali blues the store patchouli all the way <laughs> yeah fairy costume yeah wouldn't that be cute oh gosh um another clothing type deal um this is this is by somebody who is this by it's a flamingo. Here we go. Nope, that's just how to use it. <laughs> oh, it's Land Land's End. And it's a pink flamingo, uh, like a, a shawl type of thing. But really, you could use it whatever you want with it. Oh, I know. Great colors, right? And it has these dark navy blue pom-poms. It's just kind of a square shape shawl dealy. <laughs> And I will sell this. Um, it could be a great little tablecloth, little party tablecloth too. Really sweet. Um, the fabric is really soft. But I don't know if it's anything more than. Okay, it says 55 something in not my language and 50, 45 something not in my language. <laughs> uh, oh, 55 cotton, 45 viscose. Viscose, whatever viscose is. <laughs> it's probably like. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Viscose. So I loved the, oh yeah, swimsuit cover up. Perfect. Absolutely. And it has the, oh my gosh, it has that comfy kind of vibe to it too. Yeah, absolutely. Hello, Ava. Good to see you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, and so I'm also a sucker for I thought this was Vera potentially, but I kind of knew it wasn't, but I'm a sucker for a red, white, and blue um, scarf. Here we go. It's And I didn't see any mark, um, maker on here anywhere. I'm going to guess Japan, though, just made in Japan. Again, just a sucker for a red, white, and blue scarf. I collect them, too. <laughs> 
Do I use them? No. Should I sell them? Yes. <laughs> but it's usually Vera. Right, right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's right. It's true. Um, and so with a Barbie fad going on, um, I just, and I've been collecting these lately too, out of nowhere. I don't know why. It's those sheer scarves that you always would see your grandmother protecting their curlers under. Um, but it's, just, it's like that Barbie pink, you know, and um, it's just, uh, I had to snag it. <laughs> I thought maybe I could wear it in my hair or something with some sort of themed thing or something. Just have fun with it. So, Flamingo Senses. Awesome. Thank you so much, Ava. Um, I found a very large, I guess you would call this tablecloth, right? Hold on one second. No, it's like a table runner. Doily table runner. Gorgeous. If I'm not mistaken... I think there aren't any snags, but I could be wrong. I'm gonna have to have another look at this, but I believe this is considered the peacock um, design or whatever. So just gorgeous, gorgeous, shabby chic table runner. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Can you imagine something like a dark wood table? It'd be so pretty. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <clears throat> uh, Okay. <laughs> um, all right. I'm just going to do something here. Okay. Sorry, guys. I just, there was something very disruptive about that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I am sorry. I just, I felt like there was something going on there. I just, um, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm glad everybody agrees. <laughs> I didn't quite know. So um, I'm sorry. Just when I get a vibe, I got to go with it. So uh, anyway. <laughs> um, oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah, I didn't think she was a bot, but I didn't know. I didn't know. I wasn't. I was just wasn't sure. <laughs> um, so uh, I got this bag again for um, crafting. And it is, oh, I didn't realize it was a belt. There's a, I don't know how this actually stays together. I just had it a second ago. So yeah, there's actually a vintage belt in there. <laughs> I just got it for crafting though. 70s vibes going on or 80s. <laughs> um, and then there was another length of, just this gold shimmery stuff. And then I'm trying to see if I can... Oh, 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 okay. I'm I'm rereading things. Now I'm getting it. <laughs> Read it a little slower. Yeah. Yeah, I just wasn't sure what to do. Um and anyway, <laughs> there is a little tiny bit of blue sequins, you know, again, again and again and again crafting, but look how fun. <laughs> Easy costume for something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just go. <clears throat> um, and then I want to kind of keep it in one, in one wad the way it's in there, but it's just kind of like loose pieces of uh, the ends of, of uh, doily or something like that. So again again the junk journaling this is stuff is great for or any kind of crafting and finally i think this piece was just in there gonna throw it in <laughs> that's that whoops it's funny that i didn't realize this was a belt <laughs> i had no idea i'm just wondering if i should undo what i did i'm worried <laughs> oh my gosh Right. Yeah. Anyway, um, so the next thing I found was this. Speaking of disco, I think the Cabbage Patch Kid, the original Cabbage Patch Kid um, clothing, has some value. So this is from the from Cabbage Patch Kids on the. I could tell just being from that generation, but the label is there on the tag. So and there's the back. And let's see, 
getting to the bottom here this is by somebody as well and it could be used as a wall hanging these are quite popular let me see uh, who is it it's by it's vera bradley actually it's vera bradley so again a tablecloth a wall hanging just a really gorgeous piece of material i'm gonna have to have a linen sale Yeah, um, I don't know how to undo what I did. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, let me see if I can undo it. I don't know if I can. Will let me. Um, let's see. No, I don't think it's gonna let me. Unless somebody knows how to do that. Um, might have to do it after the fact or something. Yeah. Okay. Um, so for right now, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have to move on, unfortunately, and fix it afterwards because I don't I have no idea how to fix it. <laughs> um, so. Um, I got these tailored uh, curtains, no iron by Dacron, wash and hang, and it still has those metal hook type of um, hangers in there. Oh, okay. Okay, got it. Okay, I'll do that. Um, so it has really cool vintage um, graphics on it. This is going to be for eBay. Um, the color is... It's like the shimmery green. We had curtains similar to these growing up, but it's still had the packaging. So this is definitely an eBay item. So let me see if I can quickly go to my dashboard. I just want to make sure. Um, actually, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to have to do it afterwards. <laughs> All right, so... And then finally in this bag, I don't know what this is, but maybe you guys can tell me. I started to look at it more and more and saw that it had, um, there we go, like engraving types of things. I don't know what this goes to though. It's very thin, so I, I don't know if it's like aluminum or what it is. I just thought it was, I will grab anything that I find very interesting. Right? <laughs> Thank you, Jen. And then it has like this foam, not foam, felt padding on the back. I don't know. It almost looks like it's a, like a vent cover or something. I'm going to have to look into this. The, the search that I was doing was not pulling anything up that was helpful, but it's, very thin so I, I really don't know i'm not sure i'm not sure so um moving on and oh that was the end of that visit okay so throwing everything back in <laughs> so we're on our final bag which is much smaller and much quicker um see thankfully most of this is easy to just toss in <laughs> not breakable all right Careful with that guy, careful with that guy. <laughs> I'm gonna leave the mugs out so I don't have to deal with those. All right, final bag. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, I, I hope you feel better. Thank you for being here, Colleen. Appreciate it. So, um, finally, this bag is, like I said, a lot smaller. Um, I found, I think I'm going to take this straight to eBay. It's an, I believe, 80s or early 90s Mickey Mouse jacket. <laughs> Super cool. <laughs> Could be two, I haven't, like, I don't know. I was going to say 2000s, but I'm still getting 90s, 90s vibes. That's one side of it. I haven't tried it on yet either. <laughs> and this is the inside lining of it. 
So this, I thought this would be a great eBay item. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. I have seen things like this, but not this one before. And uh, I wonder if somebody just had fabric. So I don't even see a tag of any kind in this thing. It has cinched like waistband and cinched wrists too. <laughs> Isn't it though? Isn't that awesome? <laughs> um, <clears throat> I found this lady as I was on my way out the door and okay, I love, uh, like I, I almost said bringing dolls back to life, but that sounds a little creepy. Uh, revitalizing dogs back to their state that they were once in. And as I was leaving, she needs a lot of cleaning and a lot of help. But I found <laughs> this hula girl. <laughs> She's got eyelashes and everything. And trust me, when I clean her up, she's going to look a lot better. Um, she's from the 60s. <laughs> I looked her up. There's there's different types of, of uh, like little outfits and things. And she's so stinking cute. And she's pretty tall. I would say she's at least 10 or so inches. Um, I'm going to have to do her hair, get this thing taken care of. But I can't wait. I love her. <laughs> I absolutely love her. Oh, thank you. I'm like, she might, I don't know. Oh <laughs> I love her so much and her blue eyeshadow too. So that was on the way out the door. And the guy was like, is that a voodoo doll? I'm like, no, she's a little Hawaiian girl. <laughs> and she's cute. <clears throat> so that was on the way out. Like I said, found something else for crafting. I need to stop because I hadn't planned it on any more uh, crafting sales. But uh, it's a cruel kit for this pillow. I have a pillow very similar to this um, that I absolutely love in that style. And it does appear to have everything inside of it, although it has been open. But I did grab it because I, I do think everything is in there. There's a zipper and everything. So I love finding these. And these used to be my bread and butter on eBay, uh, the, the cross stitch kits and the cruel kits. I could usually make $20 every time at least. So I, this is something I like to find and it's easy, so easy to ship too. If you're not selling on eBay and you're thinking about it, I think there's still quite a market for those. Um, this is for another crafting sale. I'm gonna have to look this up, but this frame says Mickelson's and it's Washington DC. And there was something in the middle of this and I don't know what happened. But somebody can do something with this. This is a super stinking cool frame, I think. Um, it's, I need to clean it again. It's black um, velvet. Velvet? Yeah, it feels like velvet, actually. Um, backing and then whatever was here. This is metal. It almost looks like it could make a little person or something here. But uh, this is, I don't know. I just thought. I'm having an imagination with what I could do with this and I'm not that crafty. So people who are crafty could really come up with something, something Halloween perhaps. Oh, wouldn't that be fun? Kind of looks like a headstone a little bit. So display brooches. Oh yes. Well, it doesn't, it, there's nothing to poke it into. It's very like, if that makes any sense, but, um, or if you displayed them like that. Yeah, absolutely. Really neat. Kind of Halloween-y. Might, might try to sell it around Halloween. I like to do the, um, I like to have, sell Halloween items that aren't typically Halloween items as Halloween items. As if that makes any sense. So like old medicine bottles. I mean, that's typically Halloween too, but like the actual old ones, things like that. Okay. I need to get over it. I just thought this was cool. <laughs> um, and for crafting, it is a Dottie Smith. It's the beginnings of a handbag. So if you know how to make the handbags, it has the crossover uh, clutch here or whatever it's called, um, handle. I don't think it's Bakelite, but it is a hard plastic and the inside is blue. So what you would do is, I don't know how you would do it because I don't sew, but somehow <laughs> measure this and then make the buttonholes to put different um, purses over this that makes any or different purse sleeves so you can interchange what it looks like in other words <laughs> in other words but I was thinking somebody doesn't have to do that they could just take this and do whatever what they want with this like they could just make this in any kind of purse so I love that it um, locks though at the top there 
there's a cute little size and again it is by Dottie Smith it has a very 70s logo vibe to me or 80s really sweet little logo um I don't know what's in here <laughs> I know there's some smalls in here um so oh okay I I just snagged it because it was cool looking it's it's not it's not vintage but it's a Nashville baseball with a guitar on it and American flag and I don't know there was something cool about it thought I'd guy sale it I guess <laughs> I'm not sure also I love Nashville even though I've never been there I have friends who have been there and it just looks like heaven on earth Nashville does so snag that one I don't know why I have a cookbook back here <laughs> I like that over there uh what else is in here I don't know what this is from either but Oh, really? Um, and so it's a woodland, little metal woodland teacup and saucer. I don't, I don't know what it's from. <laughs> my finger got stuck. Oh my gosh, my finger is stuck in there. There we go. So that's a squirrel coming off of a tree. I, again, thought I'd throw it in a crafting sale because I don't know what else I would do unless it was a child sale still, in which case seems like there should be more than just that but it's really kind of neat to look at I don't know who or what it's by Nashville trip yeah <laughs> this is for crafting I do believe it's vintage I really think it's pretty I think it's supposed to look like a strawberry but it's really faded there we go here's the back so Ooh, put it on a headband. Yeah, I love this kind of stuff. I am such a sucker for this kind of stuff. <laughs> uh, okay, is that all? Oh, and I found a little tiny piece of millinery, which I I do like the vintage millinery better than the, the new stuff that you buy. So I did snag that for crafting, which is kind of hard to look at, or hard to see, I should say. There we go. So that was it for the malls that day i guess and then yep we're almost done no nope, i got another bag of smalls there's some tumbled stones in there there's a match uh book that is just cool looking hold on a sec um howard house there's no matches in it but nope Doesn't want to focus. Yeah. Thought I'd grab it. Um, actually, don't tell Kathy, but she was just gifted some things um, by, well, maybe she knows by now, by Sabrina. Um, and I just think these things would go really good with the things that were already sent along to her. So I might sneak these over to her without telling her. <laughs> so there's these little birds <laughs> that just match all the colors of the things that I just sent sent her way she might want to use these cute little birds in her crafting they're super cute hard to hold <laughs> here we go yeah I think I might send those to her um I just found this little random bunny he's made in Japan kind of a stoneware looking guy it's another one of those birds <laughs> I just think they're really cute. And um, I think the rest of it, yes, the rest of it is, is tumbled stones. So, and I wasn't sure what I was going to do with that, actually. <laughs> so, but I, I figured I'd get them. My mom is always like uh, collecting rocks and things like that, that type of tumbled stones and things like that, the ones that have interesting shapes and things on them. Um, I might give those to her or something so there is that we're almost done i grabbed this for ebay because i for some reason thought it would have some value <laughs> now i'm not so sure but tiara sweaters i used to sell ugly christmas sweaters as well quite a bit on ebay and tiara was a brand um that i would sell a lot of and it, this one is happy new year 2000 um so I'm wondering, like, 
like around 2025 are we gonna have some, some nostalgia about the year 2000 again i don't know i think I, this is one of those things that either people are gonna like jump on that's because nobody has a happy new year sweater it's a christmas sweater even though it says 2000 <laughs> i just thought i'd grab it um and then another children's dress actually that i bought or i grabbed just because um it's ju it's just oshkosh but it's gonna get cleaned it still has a tag on it from being in the store i adored the pattern on this it's just a nautical theme with all these whales and things like that <laughs> it's a little sundress really adorable so i snagged that too just because I, I figured somebody might have something they could do with that even if that wasn't for a dress they could do something with it think yep that is that is the end of it as far as the bins go and I'll just show you quickly I did have a small like regular store haul three things here literally um I'll show you that I, I collect Korok or Korok um plates and platters and bowls and things like that I just got it but I knew it when I saw it because I, I, I I love Korok. So, and when I see it, I, I don't even have to check the back to figure out if it's them or not. And they just do this inlaid stuff into their plastic plates and things. And of course I turned it over and it says Korok. I have about three or so of these. I have one with a really funny looking reindeer and I have one, I believe with an owl. And I used to have one with a chickadee, but I sold it. Um, so I'm in love with this. I'm in love with this. I'm so happy. And it was only $2. It was one of those things that they didn't, there is a collector's market for that. But, and then um, I found Malaware, like I was mentioning earlier, I found Malaware bowls. I'm just going to pick them up like this. I actually intend on keeping the aqua colored ones and selling the yellow and the orange ones. Um, but I was going to do that and then I realized that there's a crack in the yellow one. I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do with this, but I'll show you the bottom. See me? <laughs> it's taped on it really good. All right. Let it go. Okay, maybe I won't. Let's we'll do it this way. So it's Malware. Oh. And if you have like the cups and saucers, they're just so cute. So, and then there's just something about that one in, Bo in Boonton that I really like. And then finally, um, I these past couple of days um, have really been struggling um, in the mornings uh, with missing my kitty. It's been, I don't want to, you know, bring it up or anything, but it's been since March and I just, every once in a while, it just, it's, it's hard. So um, anyway, um, seems like whenever that happens though, something positive happens. And when I was out that day, um, I found this scarf I almost cried in the store, um, but it looks just like her and it's just a scarf. And um, so that's the last thing I got uh, actually in the store. And that's definitely, definitely for me. I'm definitely not getting rid of this, but um, I just couldn't. I don't know. I know there are plenty of cats that look like this, but for me to see it on the day that I was struggling, it was actually just really a nice, a nice, a nice thing to see. So anyway, um, that is it that is my bins haul i'm so glad i was able <laughs> to show everyone um i will do my best to sort of get this stuff together it may just be a i bought all this at the bins and this is what the sale is sale <laughs> and instead of trying to theme it out into other sales or things like that it just depends so anyway um thank you everyone for coming um that's that's how i was feeling kim thank you yeah i was um i was feeling that way with that yeah Thank you. Um, so let's see. So this, the sale tomorrow is on whatnot. Uh, again, starting uh, with Kate starts at four. I believe it starts at four. <laughs> Terrible. My time slot is five thirty, and, that, and that's the the follow that cat train um, on whatnot. And then tomorrow um, it continues with a whole bunch of other sellers too. So if you want to get in on. And on those cats, I've been sort of stalking the stores and a lot of, of them have the Talavera cats. I have one, but it's got a chip on his ear, fortunately, but I still brought one just because I wanted to bring one. Um, so 
thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, so I know I'm getting, somebody's texting me right now. Uh, so what else did I want to say? Yeah. Um, please check out the sale tomorrow, even if you don't want to have anything to do with whatnot, just to come and say hi. Um, and then next week, let's see. I'm also doing another sale. Okay, follow that bug vintage a uh, week from tomorrow. And um, I can't remember if there, there was a name for just, it was first Friday. Might be just like a first Friday sale. So that's another whatnot sale. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing in the meantime, as far as a YouTube sale. I haven't, I haven't decided on that yet. So I will put an announcement in the um, community tab though, as soon as I figure that out. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Um, so I'm going to let you guys go and I appreciate your time and coming and checking out the things I got and, uh, yep, I'm going to have to start going through this stuff <laughs> and, and just making it one sale. I think that's what I'm going to do. It's the easiest. Any other, any other announcements? Um, I think that's it for now. There is a sale with Yvonne coming, but I don't know if we've nailed that down as far as a what date on whatnot so there's that too i think that's it thank you everybody for coming and um yeah i'll see you soon somewhere <laughs> i promise oh and i still have to do that barbie that uh barbie collection um show and tell soon so maybe i can do that between now and and next week so at some point probably a pop-up maybe <laughs> all right Thank you, everybody, for coming. Good to see everyone. And uh, I hope you have a really good rest of your day. And go see Kathy. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.